After the release of Spare, Prince Harry received some sad news. The contentious book by Harry was published in January. With the publication of his candid memoir Spare, Prince Harry may have divided the public's opinion, but that didn't stop the book from being a big success. In the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom, Spare sold more than 1.43 million copies in all forms, including pre-orders. The amount represented the highest first-day sales for a non-fiction book ever released by Penguin Random House, the biggest publisher in the world. However, despite its monetary success, the publishing business has undergone significant transformation as a result of its publication. Shortly afterwards, Random House's president, Gina Centrello, declared she was retiring and leaving the company. Random House was the division that published Spare. A second prominent person has since made the decision to retire. One of the most influential people in American book publishing, Madeline McIntosh, is stepping down from her position as CEO of Penguin Random House US, the business said on Tuesday. Even though her time as CEO may have seemed brief, she reportedly stated that it had been quite intense five years, according to the New York Times. She added, I don't like the concept of staying in one place or performing one profession for a lifetime. It comes after news that Harry will be making his first appearance in front of the public since Spare was published. The Prince will be present in San Francisco on March 7 and 8 for a seminar sponsored by the mental health organization BetterUp. While all is going on, focus has shifted to King Charles's coronation and the possibility of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle attending. Harry has acknowledged that it is uncertain whether they will show up. Harry disclosed this in a Tom Bradby for ITV interview. There are many things that could occur between now and then. However, it's always open. They now have the initiative. Archie is unlikely to accompany Meghan and Harry to the King's coronation for five major reasons. Archie Harrison is the oldest of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's two children. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's presence at the King's coronation is still uncertain, therefore speculation has focused on whether or not we may anticipate seeing their two children there. Due to her young age, Lilibet Diana, who is 19 months old, is extremely unlikely to make an appearance, but five factors seem to indicate that Archie won't be there either. The two children's positions in the royal line of succession may be one factor. Archie and Lilibet Diana, the couple's daughter, are currently positioned sixth and seventh in the succession. Given that their parents left the royal family to reside in the U.S. in 2020 and are no longer senior members, they are not anticipated to become full-time working royals. Archie's absence from the coronation is further indicated by the fact that neither of his two siblings made any public appearances when parents Meghan and Harry visited the UK as a family of four for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June 2022. If the family visits the UK for the coronation, they are probably going to stay in the background. The fact that Archie turns four on the day of the coronation is a third factor. Young royals rarely attend such important occasions, therefore his youth may have have contributed to his absence. When Charles was four years old, he did go to see his mother's coronation in 1953, but this is understandable, given that he was the heir apparent. Anne, his younger sister, who was only two at the time, stayed home. The last reason is that parents Harry and Meghan rarely share pictures or updates of their two young children, keeping them hidden in secrecy. They previously stated that they want them to be raised as typical kids and that their personal life should be kept confidential. Lilibet turned one while the family of four was in the UK for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations last year. The pair disclosed that they celebrated their daughter's significant birthday in the garden of their UK home, Frogmore Cottage, in their two-part Harry and Meghan Netflix documentary series.